Hi Cancer, welcome to your February 2018 love reading. It's Rena here. So just shuffling the cards as usual. Okay. <laughs> it's funny because um, it's it, to me it's always funny when you have two cards. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't mean two cards, but when you have multiple cards that are pentacles in a love reading. Because especially with the four and ten of pentacles, because those are both um, good money cards. And, the, you know, since this is a love reading, there, there seems to be some kind of uh, issue with money. So I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, I have a feeling, just based on the top row there, that this could be a situation with some cancers that you are dealing with a Leo. We'll just start with the past position. We have the card that's associated with Leo, even right down to the lion, you know, so you can... But the strength card is in the past position. And, um... So, just, you know, uh, in addition to that astrological correspondence, the strength card is about developing your confidence regarding something. And for some people, there can be this sense of love having given you this mirroring of your worthiness. And that's really what, what um, love can do. A lot of people think that by being loved, that they are uh, getting that strength or that sense of confidence. But actually, the person isn't, it isn't because a person is loving you that they are strengthening you. It's because they are reflecting back to you all the good qualities that you have, that you are out of touch with, that, where there's a disconnect between you and your talents, your, the good things about you. So an example that I would give is if you're a person who has always considered yourself rather insecure. Now this could be because of a parent being excessively critical. That's a big one. Maybe feeling shut out emotionally in your family of origin and feeling unloved. And so, and by the way, for cancers, this is a big deal. Okay, this is, this is something that I think happens a lot where cancers seem to need extra nurturing. And if they don't get that when they're growing up, it affects them a lot more than it affects the average person. So if they're deprived of a parent for some reason, if they, you know, lose a parent early on, it can affect them uh, more strongly because you'll see like when cancer children are young, they tend to be very timid and very, you know, very shy, maybe crybabies, and um, this kind of thing, and they're very vulnerable in that sense. 
And so whatever may have happened to you, you met somebody who gave you the understanding that you had value and they were noticing how great you were and so there is a sense of feeling empowered by that but that's all that it is it's, it's not that they are like it's their power that's doing it it's that they are just showing you how great you are and uh, so the the overall theme is the six of wands and this is a card of victory so even if you are well let me say it's not I won't say it's a card of victory it's a card of success and I would say especially with career but we can extend it because this is a love reading and you'll have to forgive me because I'm uh, I've pretty much recovered from a flu but still a little bit <laughs> mentally um, catching up and so as I've been doing these readings it's been like it's almost like I feel out of practice or something and uh, but this is it's very interesting because the the past position and the this card both to me I associate with Leo so this person may have come into your life before but they're still there now and um, the other thing about this card is it can be about taking a bow because you have these career achievements but I as I said before since this is love reading I'm not going to go that route uh, by the way I just wanted to tell you that um, I think I'm going to be doing a second set of love readings maybe later in the month for singles specifically so if you're single and this seems like I'm it's a uh, relationship reading yeah that's how it tends to play itself out so I don't know what to say but I'll do one where I can just focus on singles so what we have f for the current energy is the seven of swords which is a a real departure from those cards so what it shows is that what seemed like something that started out great has gone into some sort of deceptive behavior and this can be somebody cheating going behind your back in some way sometimes actually that card is associated too with physical theft so for some people, because I did get a couple of pentacles cards, it can be a grifter type of a person who um, maybe they sang your praises and made you feel really good, but they have kind of uh, walked off with um, something valuable of yours or just uh, that's a could be metaphorical but it could be like grifting behavior of some sort using you for money or just you know like um, because they're not financially stable in some way and um, if this is the case if this has happened to you and maybe it's not exactly as I'm describing it then that has to hurt quite a bit. I don't know if you have caught on to them yet. Maybe you're in denial. Maybe you have just been oblivious and you're just like on your high because they're really um, singing your praises still and stuff like that. Sometimes the Seven of Swords is about you just going your own direction after dealing with that or you could also be dealing with a an air sign now Aquarius jumped out at me but the usual suspect for cancer would be Libra 
if it's going to be an air sign. And then, of course, the other air sign is Gemini. And that person um, may be a negative influence on your life. The higher message is the Ace of Cups. So, one possibility is that the, the fire sign person is actually a good person in your life and that this is a new romance and the spiritual message is, is that you have found true love with this person and possibly the seven of swords is a partner that is current maybe you you were getting away from that relationship and still hadn't finalized the um, split and so you were dealing with two different people at the same time but that the fire sign person is actually the the person for you, but this is an this is an offer of love. So spiritually, if this is not if what I have uh, laid out has not um, doesn't re resonate with you, it's not part of your situation. Then maybe the spiritual message is saying, you know, fear not, this is coming in for you at some point, and you notice that it's the Ace of Cups, not the Ace of Pentacles. So an Ace of Pentacles relationship could very easily apply to love, and it could be a very solid partnership. But the Ace of Cups is a very soulful union. So that's the beauty of the Ace of Cups. And, of course, you're one of the Cups, being a water sign, along with, Scorpio and Pisces, and that could certainly be the sign of the person that you fall in love with. What crosses you is the Ten of Pentacles. So this goes back to that, I would say goes back to that Seven of Swords. That could definitely be if you have an, um, maybe this is an ex-spouse that you have been having uh, some battle with, as I have mentioned in, in um, the astrological reading for, for January. I was talking about all the Capricorn energy, and, and Capricorn is your, your opposite sign. That's your, your seventh house of committed partnership. So a lot of stuff, a lot of activity in that house. But the seventh house, in addition to the marriage, being the marriage house, it's a legal house. So it can point to legal battles. And with that Ten of Pentacles, we're talking about family money. There could be some kind of a battle where somebody's trying to take something that's not rightfully theirs. You know, this is where I said about grifting. And sometimes grifters come in the form of uh, people who seek out lawyers to try to take somebody to the cleaners when they didn't really contribute to the to the situation in the first place, the financial situation, they may have um, been the one that was more taking than than contributing, and yet they're the first ones to try to you know get the money. So some of you may know what I'm talking about. The Ten of Pentacles, because it's like, it can be inheritance issues, but again, I'm not going to, to get into that because that would be more of a general reading. But this is family money, whether it's coming from your family or whether it's um, the, the money, like the pool of resources between you and an ex-partner. 